So uh, I don't remember asking you. I don't know. Did I ask him? Mm. I don't care. The decision is final. You'll make an announcement tonight that the two of you are going to work again as a team for me at my fucking station. Don't even try. You smoking here all the time. What's this really about, Norman? My ratings are the best in years. Better than when he was with me. Well, it's changed. We have to change with it. Oh, shit. They kidnapped you. They beat you up. They burnt your car. My old one. They burnt your car to ashes. What more do you fucking want? I want a bit of support. Listen, your talk show, uh, The Grim Reality, is finished. Listen, but the people are frightened. The, the technicians, producers, journalists, panelists. I have a pile of resignations on my desk. They're all shit scared. Anthony's about the only Anthony one who hasn't let... Anthony understands our work. Don't bring him into this. We were great, mate. He knows that we were very, very good together. Yeah? And then you fucked it up. Don't pick on him. He's about the only friend you got left. I would rather pull out all my teeth than interview any more of your celebrities. All right, all right. Don't do it. But don't broadcast the interview tonight. You can't, mate. People are sick of it. Seriously. Brexit. Brexit this, Brexit that. Stay leaving out. Bullshit. They need some joy. That's what they need, lad. They need some fun back in their lives. They need the GR, right? Me and you. Besides, you're putting an end to your career. No, man. I'm just putting it into lies. Do you understand what's at stake here? What for you? OK. So I'll just calm down. Let me help you, eh? You. Do me a fucking favour. OK, Jarvis, OK. Jarvis! As per your contract with DBO, you have freedom of speech, but you do not have my support. And whatever happens, this is on you. Think about it. You should have come to me first. Is that a yes? It's a maybe. Good enough for me, mate. Let's have one now, eh? Quick one, before the show. Get ready, you're on at 10 o'clock. No. He's on at 11. You're on at 11. Don't be late. Where were you? Upstairs. Is Andrew joining us? Fuck's sake. I'm telling you, every time Andrew Wall steps foot in this building, it's impossible not to notice. Yeah, tell me about it. But he's part of your story, so what are you going to do, eh? <laughs> That's the great Samuel S. coming this evening at midnight. And of course, not to be missed, the borderline furry animal costume party. 
and if you have any other plans, I think you should cancel them. And we are out. This is DBO Radio 99.9. Smashed it, mate. The sharpest insight. Oh, nearly forgot. This is for you. Julia brought it over. Just in time. What, she's still here? She was headed to your office about five minutes ago. It's ten minutes to ten. And we are listening to today's... What's he doing in my studio? If you haven't noticed, we're like fucking lepers at the minute, mate. It's fucking door. I had to book him for the man of the Russian bank is linked to London. U.S. security officials have accused the U.K. Jarvis. <laughs> this guy. This guy is good. Careful, you'll find yourself without a program. Well done, mate. See you at the party. The Vox fan who was on a £99,000 salary has resigned today, saying she takes full responsibility for a scandal. Oh, Jesus Christ, what did you find out? She's fucking useless. Doesn't have a Scooby, but she's desperate to work with you, so... What's her name again? Claire. Claire, welcome to the grim reality. Oh, I've been here for two months, Mr. Dolan. I know. Um, just call Jarvis. Please. Here's the last one. Oh, yeah, webcams are out today, Joe. What again? I know, I know, engineering coming. Claire's just called something. Have you got the interview ready? Phil Collins has it. What? Norman hates Phil Collins. He's never going to look there. Nice. The sound is shite, though, mate. Well, I was running away. What'd you expect? I don't know whether you're brave or mm. stupid. This is going to be nuclear, my friend. What do I know? Can you set up the intro for Andrew? What are you off to now? Just give me two minutes. Oh, it's always two minutes for you. Two minutes, my ass. Oh, come on, Samuel, man. Single week. Lazy bastardo. Uh, <laughs> Just that's it. Oh, Dad, this place is awesome. How come you haven't shown it to me before? No problem. Oh, no, no, please. I'll leave you up for it. Did you see the state of my office here? Yeah? Yes, yeah, sir. Um, I'll go and try to do that now. You think this is a good idea? After what happened last weekend? Julia, this guy's an arsehole. I think it's up to me to decide whether or not Sam's an arsehole. Look, I don't want to have this conversation right now. All right, well, you go and tell him my office and I'll speak to him. <gasps> no fucking way. I can see you coming. Look, I am going to the borderline party, even if it's the... Even when I was five years old, I couldn't stand it whenever you did that to me. Okay. Okay. Please get a picture of me. Thank you. Party. Um, I'm gonna go tidy the office. Um, but I'll see you later. All right. See you later. What the hell is getting you, Jarvis? Listen, I know the Norman thinks the sun shines out of your eyes, but I'm gonna do my best to get you thrown out of here. I mean, for fuck's sake, what am I supposed to have because done? Because I've got you sussed out for the coked-up little gigolo you what are. What are you on, man? I know that Julia's nihilistic up in round the block pose is attractive, but she's full of joy, and she lives life to the fullest. 
And I don't want to see a trace of bitterness and disappointment because of you. Now you are going to go to your party. You're going to play the fucking rock star. And then you're going to bring it back here before the end of my show. Got that? Now you say yes, like a good boy. Yes. Nate, you know, enjoy yourself. and totally independent minded. Discover the grim reality. Five, four, three, two, one. Three, two. The concept post-truth is so popular at the moment that it's totally acceptable to disregard and ridicule facts, especially if those facts don't chime with how you feel. And as individuals, we are incapable of evaluating consequences. If it feels right, you just do it. Who cares about the facts? Well, I do. And here are the facts. This is the truth. Three days ago, fascist thugs, so-called patriots, kidnapped me, burnt my car and threatened my family because I wouldn't respect the will of the people. And I understand it. Over the last year, I've gone on and on about Russian interference in the Brexit process, about the secret motives of billionaires who want to turn the UK into an offshore tax haven. But Russian interference, Russian money wasn't just in the boardrooms and the gentlemen's clubs and the think tanks. It was on the streets, it was in the pubs, it was on the terraces, and it was organized by social media. It was the Facebook post of the young woman in the headscarf just after the London Bridge attack. And it was telling you that she was planning the next atrocity, when in reality, she was just phoning her mum and telling her that she was okay. It's the voice in your head telling you that there's too many brown faces in the doctor's waiting room, when in reality, it is the immigrant doctors and nurses who are propping up the NHS. The so-called organic and spontaneous demonstrations so lauded by the right-wing press as examples of the indigenous population of the UK taking back control were in fact classic Russian election interference. They not only sowed discourse and division, they funneled money to thugs and murderers. And the very same thugs and murderers who threatened me and my family. Now I apologize in advance for the quality of the sound of this recording. Well, you just have to stick with it. Hate me. Scream at the radio, if you will. But this is the world we live in. Uh, we seem to be having some trouble with the audio file, so... While we're getting that fixed, let's have a look at some of the um, hate mails, the emails to prove my theory that you guys listen to this show to get pissed off and to hate me. Now, the first one here is suckmydick at yahoo.com. Yes, suck my dick. Well, suck my dick says, the good people of England have the right to defend themselves, defend our borders, our children, England first, you stupid, wealthy, liberal. Well, even I can't say that word on air. If you hate this country, go and live in another one. Are you aware of what they want to take away from us? This isn't going to end up well for anybody. So stop playing the fucking fool and devote yourselves to screwing up the lives of celebrities like you always do. Shit, shit. Well, that's shit because celebrities screw up their lives all by themselves. That's the last of the emails, so if that's all the hate you got for me, then God help us. And now give me shelter, because I've earned it. Look, I've been patient, all right, but if this is a joke, then it's time that... Follow the experts into the secret nightlife Anthony, in what's going on? Our youngest like and oldest radio really. star, DJ and producer Anthony? Samuel S. prepares you Fuck for the pleasures of one yeah? of the top hedonistic Fuck cities you. in the world. Why spectacle? Oh, 
open the door! This is DDO Radio 99.5 FM. The sharpest insights from London to the world. Just in time on DDO Radio. commit a crime and get away with it. Rob Hogg talks with Deputy Mayor for Policing and Crime, Sophie Linden. This oh! Get on! It's down! It's down! Entity. Entity, what's, what's going on? First of all, you were to carry on with the show, just like normal. Secondly, you're going to follow our instructions without any questions. I'll do no such thing. You turn on those lights and you open that fucking door. <laughs> Thirdly, if for whatever reason the broadcast is cut, you're going to pay for it dearly. You and these two in here. You open that fucking door! I can't, I can't hear you. Understanding, okay? I'm sitting in my seat, okay? Anthony, Anthony, calm down, just calm down, okay? Cal Anthony, calm down. We're going live on our door and get ready. What have you done to the girl? I want to see the girl. You start by. I want to see the girl. You start by apologizing for the technical problems and you say we got everything sorted after that. This is about the tape. Fuck the this tape. About the tape. We got something more important than mine. Fuck the tape. You better start talking, Dolan, or I swear I will fucking kill them both. You understand me? Two armed men have stormed the radio station and the home is against our will. We're in Studio 1 of the 6... It's ten minutes to ten, and we're listening to today's headlines at DBO Radio News Service. Just in time on DBO Radio. President Trump's team blasts England's fixation with oh. after a oh. sanction of oh. oh. US security officials oh. of ignoring oh. vital national Fucking take us for. Put your headphones on. We're starting again.
nutrition and meat or not. Every Saturday at the year, just in time for a radio. What do you want? like to apologize uh, for any technical Draw difficulties yourself, and any, any failings at the start of tonight's show, but it, it's... That's it's, no good, it's, Dolan. It's, it's, Pull yourself together. At least order. pretend like the job is fucking Dolan. Do it again. Unstoppable, idealistic, and totally independent-minded. Dolan, do it Discover fucking the again. Reality with Jarvis Dolan. Well, it seems that from the Twitter feed that our listeners are anything but indifferent to tonight's chaos, but that's what happens when you do live. That's what a live show is all about. And if anybody uh, can question how that is possible, then I advise you to watch the, the 2017 Oscar ceremony on YouTube again. Control of their image is a utopia and an Introduce utopia. Andrew now. Now it's almost uh, it's almost eleven o'clock and it's time to introduce Andrew Wilde with, in his own words, one of my favorite. Hey you, Blondie, two things I want from you, turn the fucking heating down and bring me a glass of cold water with two slices of lime, not lemon, lime, Jav, lad, what's going on lad, eh, what's happened here, fucking hell, where's the ant, let me speak to him, no, 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 Andrew, 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 listen to me, listen to me, listen, just sit down. Anthony's getting a show ready. Just gonna take a minute, okay? We're on. Come on. What's going on, Jar? What's going on, man? Hey? Something's up. Cause Blue Eyes looks like she's just seen a fucking ghost. And you, mate, you don't look good. The studio's a mess. What's going on, mate? Talk to me. Uh, well, well Samuel brought the Antwerp up last week. I made a fucking mess. And, uh... The ninja. Dummy knee, dummy, dummy... It doesn't matter, does it, eh? The show must go on, eh? Did you, did you learn nothing from me? You're right, you're right. What do you say, man? The ninja, eh? That's all you had to say. This is gonna be even cooler. The Nicky Pop. Crowd surfing and Cincinnati. 
I'm glad you threw that tape in the bin, mate. It's where it belongs, bloody Brexit and all that. When you know, we... and I apologise. Norman is a shit stirrer. We both know it. Right? He got me in that lift. Fifteen minutes later, he's knifing you in the back, mate. What? Just... But it's up with your hand, bloody. Yeah. So I'll clean it up in a commercial break. Yeah. <laughs> You're right, mate. Hey. I mean, everything about you. Are you okay? Yeah, I first met Andrew about 15 years ago. It was uh, it was an anti an anti-abortion rally, and uh, this guy turned up covered in blood with a sign that said, "You should have killed me when you had a chance." And I still don't think I made my position clear. Well, also. I think you made a very subtle point, wow. Andrew. And uh, I also realised that he was a he was a rival journalist who was covering the story. And that, folks, is how true love blossoms. And it was then that I realised that we were destined to do things together, to do great you things. You could together, only manage if I could only manage to instil a little common sense. There you go. You know what? I think that photograph of me, Jarvis, is still out there somewhere, floating in the ether. May even be a meme by now, people. Why don't we Google it live here in the studio? Check it out for yourselves. All our listeners out there under 100 years old know exactly what it is we're talking about eh we seem to be having a few technical difficulties here in the studio people i you don't touch know what that final about. cut off your hand carry on like this will be finished in an hour you're gonna carry on with the interview just like normal if that bastard tries to leave your book dead man now sit tight away from my instructions raise your hand if you understand me Look good and taste good, more importantly. Not gonna pretend or deny it. Well, I'd like to talk about something that we've never actually spoken about before, and that was the first year of Grim Reality. Now, yeah. um, the show rose to prominence very quickly, and um, well, you could say that it was a... Meteoric. It was a meteoric rise, and, and what was that like for you? Well, for me, Jav, I don't really think about it much, mate. You know what I'm like, right? Down to earth, lad. But like you, right, the both of us, we became celebrities overnight, mate. Out of nowhere, bang, wake up, we're famous. What are you gonna do? And you know that fame is a big, fat, hungry monster. tonight folks and i mean that literally the grim reality is Dolan, plenty of crazy before the commercial break i want you to talk about belfast november 2011. why they let us keep doing do what i say or i'll cut up the girl piece by piece i say it surprises yeah, me I'd, I'd, um oh. and now i'd like to turn to something that's very close to my heart and it's close to my heart because it's the last night that we had together it was our last gig and it was the um 2011 European Music Award. The EMAs, Jav. That's what they call him, mate. The EMAs. The night of Lady Gaga. What happened at the party the, afterwards in the Hotel Europa? Running across the stage, huh? I remember that. Do you? Hello? <laughs> What are you looking at, man? What are you doing? You're looking in there. We're trying to do a show. Come on, Jarvis. Oh, ask him what happened at the party in the Hotel Europa. Uh, do you remember that there was a party oh, afterwards? Do you remember the party? Do I remember the The whole of Belfast was a party. The party at the Hotel Europa. Every bar, club, restaurant opened at the early hours no, of the morning. No, the party at the Hotel Europa. Do you remember that party? Just another party. He took two mate. girls another to his room. Mate. What happened there? Ask him. Two girls who disappeared with you who were at the party. I'm sorry, Java. I, I, I don't think I, uh, I don't think... Oh, what are you Ask doing? a no. fucking question. Just what do you do with them? To you, Jarvis. Jarvis. Because I know what yeah, this is. Like. This is a what the fuck happened oh, in room 221? He's gonna kill me. Please. Ask a fucking question. What do you do to them? Ask him what happened in room 221. What did you do to the girls in room 221? You are unbelievable. You are. 
Do you do that to me? Look, live and fucking A. You talk about that night. Why? Oh, well, I, I don't get it, man. What are you talking about? What the fuck's going on? What is going on? Something's up! Why would you do that? Bastard! Don't make us go in there, Dolan. Get him to calm down and dark in his chair now. You are unbelievable! Sit down. It's alright, just sit down. Live on air, Jeff? No, sit down, mate. I'm your mate. No, no but We're sit down. We're supposed to be fucking mates. Please, sit down. Why would you talk about that night? Why would you do that? Why, what? Why would you bring that up? Why? No, sit down. Sit down. We buried that shit. We forgot about Shut it. Up. Sit down. Fuck off! Andrew, you know what it's like. You've got to tell us your side of the story. Enough. You're just gonna be, you're just gonna be tried. Shut up! Get him to calm down. You've said enough. Back in his chair now. You've said it all live and fucking. Get him head. back in that fucking chair now. Ali, just sit down. Talk no. no. Stay in the room. No. Sit down, Andrew. Stay in the room. Don't, don't, don't open the door. Dig this fucking show up your ass. Andrew, stay. Oh, what now, Jarve? What's it? A convention for Lord of the Fucking Rings. What's it all? A big fucking joke, is it, eh? What's fucking Halloween? Hello, mate. How are you? Get out of my way, you fucking. Oh, no, 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 no. That's in two now. Shut up! This is all your fault. I told you to get into the locks and sit back down. That fucker raped those girls. Get him to tell us what happened. Get him to say it live on air and I will call your fucking ambulance. Alright, you tell your nutter to keep away because if he goes into shock, then you can forget about it, alright? Tell him that. Who the fuck are they? Now listen mate, listen, look at me, look at me, just look at me, just look at me. There's two men. Two men have stormed the studio and they're holding Claire and Anthony hostage. Why? And they need you to tell us what happened in room 221. Why? Live on here. Why? I don't know why. We're trapped in here with them. Now listen, everything they've told me that they're gonna do, they've done, all right? And they've promised me that they will get you an ambulance if you confess live on air. Okay. All right? All right. Okay? Yeah. Good. Now. What have I got to confess to, Jav? What happened in the room? You know what happened. Can't do that. The grim reality. Can't talk about that. Now, um, the reason this show is so well known is because of the unexpected twists and turns that happen every moment. And you, the grim crowd, have so much to contribute and your feedback is so important. Now, and. A reliable source has made a very serious accusation against Andrew Wilde tonight. Andrew. Um, well, let's have a look in a Twitter feed. We've got Johnny from Kennington who says, fame hunters and booze, that's a deadly combination. Yes, yes, I think you're right, Johnny. I think, I think Andrew was just falling around with, um, with groupies. Yeah, a, a party. Yeah, you see, you see, Andrew, the the truth, in essence, is not objective because because every event has as many versions as it does, as it does actors, and you need to just tell us your side of the story. Andrew, just say something. It doesn't matter what you say because he's not going to stand up in court. Why? 
lie that they won't be I just don't make how much shit scared as you are. But look, they fucked up your head. They've done one knee. They've told you this. They've blown him, mate. They've fucking blown him. <sighs> Hello. Well, I made a mistake. Truth is, I, uh, I fucked up. It's very brave of you, Andrew. It's very, very brave. I did a bad thing. Yeah. And, and it's a measure of a man to say that, Andrew. We've all done it, but not everybody admits to it. Thank you, Jarvis. There's no use to us, Dolan. You didn't tell us what happened, or I swear I'm gonna fucking I hurt know this girl wrong. in here. That's the difference. It was a wrong and terrible Andrew, thing Andrew, to do. um our sources made very precise accusations about that evening and and about um about the Europa Hotel. Um, do you remember the party at the Europa Hotel? Do you remember we walked in, everybody was looking at us, everybody wanted to talk to us, everybody wanted to shake our hands. Do you remember the 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 uh, the uh, intoxicating feeling of, of being the center of attention. We need to talk about the girls, the two girls. That you um. Did you have a drink with them? Did you have a did you have a dance with them? Did they did they just want an autograph? Did they? Do you remember? It was a long time ago, but do, do you do remember? I remember, I remember, um, one girl walked up to me out in the crowd, wanted a photograph, drunk, messing around, my hair and stuff, wanted to try on my leather jacket. I get that all the time. She was very sweet. She invited her friends over, a couple, young, 17, 18 maybe. I, um, I invited them. Stupidly, I guess. Is Up it... to me room. And, uh, the boyfriend of the couple, he didn't. Well, he did. He insisted. It was the girl that didn't want to go. So we'd do some drugs up there. Some molly and stuff. I looked over at the um, couple who were making out, you know, fucking. And uh, so I goes over, got on the bed while they were, and um, me and, and she, she, Goes mad. Stops me. I was like, I thought this is why we came back up, you know, to the room and that. For a laugh. The boyfriend goes mad. He's shouting at me. Fucking kicks me out of bed. So I punched him in his face. I punched him hard. And then that. Uh, girl shouting. Look at me, just hating me. So I grabbed her by her throat. And um, I raped her. stop. I tried. She kept saying, please. Begging me to stop. 
Gott. Gott. Um, that was very, um, Brave, very brave of you, Andrew, and uh, that was very, very honest. Can I go now? Please. Fuck that, he's gone. Fuck it, bro. You're going to tell us what he did to that boy and the other girl. Andrew, um, we need to... Uh, turn our attention to what happened to the boy. I punched him in the face. Right. And, and what happened? Four or five times. He got back up. But we got back up after that. And then what happened? So I... So I hit him again. And again. And again. And I tied him to the radiator, put a sock in his mouth. You put a sock in his mouth? Yeah. Got you. He nearly suffocated. I thought I'd kill him. Job, lad! What are you doing down there, lad? Come on, get up. We've got a show to do. You and me. Huh? The countdown. Come on, lad! I'm just gonna lie down for a bit, mate, because, uh... Let me be honest with you. I just need to show me eyes for a minute, mate. Oh. Andrew? Oh, that's better, mate. I'll be with you in two minutes, man. Andrew, s s stay with me. I'll be right with you. Now, mate. come on, mate. We've got a show to do.
place in the film. Brit embraced for a Valentine's Day washout with torrential downpours and gales, as a blast of freezing air from the Arctic will push temperatures down to minus six centigrade with six inches of snow forecast. You're a greater jerk than I imagined. Get him up. the guy who's to blame for all of this. Anthony? Jarvis? Jarvis? Anthony? <laughs> this was meant to be easy. Really easy. He just won't let anyone tell you what to do, will you? Well, whether you like it or not, we're going back in there. And if you try to play the hero again, we'll smash his head in. Is that clear? I'm not going to say it twice. Get him out. Just in time. Please. Do you know what you're eating? Please, I've done nothing! <laughs> 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 Tonight, it's been a crazy night, so let's open our lines to the lunatics on the other side of the farm. Please, don't be shy. We're There's opening the telephone lines. Be brave. Come on, come with me to the You're... grim reality. Hi. I'm Alex. I've been listening to the show. Hi, Alex. There's a lot of people saying this and that. But they're dragging the names of those girls through the mud, don't you think? They don't really know what they're talking about. And, and you do know what you're talking about, Alex. Yeah. I was there, weren't I? You were there? Yeah. Just like you, Jarvis. Because you were there too. I was there, was yeah. I? Yeah. Well, I was at the uh, Hotel Europa, and we've already established that. But... No, so, Alex, are you somehow insinuating that I covered up the rape. I'm not insinuating anything. I'm giving you the facts. The facts. After raping my girlfriend, that fucking mate of yours called you, crying and snivelling like a baby. Lucy. Lucy was in a right fucking state. She couldn't how, even move. How do we know you've even set foot in Belfast? He called you and asked you to come up to the room, which you fucking did. I thought it was all over, but it wasn't, was it? Well, so this is it, is it? Is this the modus operandi? We just believe the first nobody who calls and tells us whatever crosses his mind? It ain't the first thing that crosses my mind. And I ain't fucking nobody either. You know perfectly well who I am. Because you were fucking there. You bastards did this to me. 
remember? Smashed the bottle in my face and fucked all my teeth up. And that fucker, that fucking cunt on the floor right there, I did that. That's what I did. Nothing to say for yourself, shit face. What is it, you fucking mug? You got the balls to deny it? Huh? Stop, stop. Fuck We're you! We're not getting anything Say out of this way, just Fuck stop! He won't talk. He knows that whatever he says, he's gonna look bad. You, make sure he doesn't move. And you, come back here. What are you doing with these two nutters? Shut the fuck up. You know, you seem like a man in his right frame of mind. Surely you can see that this doesn't make any sense. I deal with people like this all the time. They're fantasists. Claire went to the police after you two raped her. Did you know that? Did she? Well, they didn't give any credence to her story because they never contacted me. She's used to being ignored by people like you. By people like me? Yeah. People that call the shots. Well, there's only one person calling the shots here, and it's not me. It's definitely not you. So why are you here? Why are you ruining your life? Lucy. What? Lucy. The girl you two bastards raped. No. I've never raped anybody in my life. And if your mad psychic is anything to go by, any woman that would go out with him... My daughter. I don't know what to say. You know, I have a daughter too. just gonna kill me over some drunken stories of a night that just went wrong. It's just, you know, the kids. What could I possibly do? You can start by telling me the truth. What did you do to my daughter? Where's my daughter, you fucker? Now. Put your headphones on. Get him up. Jarvis, how many more deaths are you capable of having on your rotten conscience before you start being a little bit more cooperative? Claire, tell me what you want. Just tell me what you want, and let's get this over with. Oh, it's the big rush. It's only now we really getting to know each other. You tell me what you want. We're going back on air. I want you to tell everybody what you did to me, and what you did to Lucy. You're gonna show yourself up, 
and you're gonna tell the whole world the kind of cowardly son of a bitch you've always been. No. <laughs> What was that? I said... No. Jarvis! Jarvis! Whatever happens, they're not going to let me have here alive. And you're going to go to prison for the death of two people. And you will never know what happened to your daughter. Jarvis! Claire. This is serious. How do I know? Claire. Claire. What the hell are you doing? This isn't what we talked about. Claire, you said this. That we're, we're, we're not going to. Claire! Claire! Anthony's got nothing to do with this. No, no, please. Wrong place, wrong time. Not much I can do about that. Please, 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 get a fucking... Get back to your place, Jarvis! Claire, what the Jarvis, fuck are you doing? Jarvis, do you think this is some sort of joke? I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Take a good look at Andrew! He's not gonna let them kill you. Take a good look! Look at him, Claire. He's gonna be fine. Oh, yeah. Jarvis, 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 Nothing's gonna happen. Fuck it! Stop that! This is on you. Claire. Nothing's gonna happen. He's not gonna kill you. Look at me, Anthony. Nothing's gonna happen. Please, Joe. They're Stop gonna fucking now. kill me. Anthony, nothing's gonna happen. Look at me. You're not gonna die. Anthony, he's not gonna let them... Claire. No. Die. No. Anthony. No, no, no! Oh. 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 Oh.
Some people are trying to kill me. They just killed sir, two others. Sir, and... calm down, sir. Sir, is the aggressor still with you? I'm so scared. <laughs> Have you not learned your lesson yet? Me, just look at me. Look at me. This is DBO Radio 99.9 FM. The sharpest insights from London to... Just in time on DBO Radio. Let her go. No chance. Unstoppable, idealistic... Are you, are you happy with this, are you? Independent mind. Your daughter goes missing, so my daughter's got to pay for it? Discover the grim reality with Jarvis Dolan. There's one father to another. I beg you, please let Julia go. And yes, let this go. is the hate talking. You can say that this is social justice, but it's hate. I feel comfortable with the responsibility. Time to get his fucking hands off of her! I don't want more regulations. And of course, I don't want the government patronising me and telling me how to behave. Or promise, I can or can promise, promise me nothing's going to happen to her. I don't have to promise you I anything. Yeah, but if you want this to go ahead, you guarantee that nothing's going to happen to her. Face the consequences. There's, there's, there's nothing to do. Let's get started. We never talked about taking a girl home. Bad timing, and I don't like repeating myself. Well, there's not going to be any more fucking deaths here. Is that clear? Don't you want to know what happened to Lucy? Let me tell you this. Tyranny is the absolute... Well, that clown over there is the only one who can tell you. Most of the time, these simple ideas are wrong, and most of them are lies. They don't reflect reality, the grim reality. And as we know, the danger with lies is repeating them so much that you transform them into truth. I've got nothing to do with this. No, the truth is painful. It's ugly. It's uncomfortable. Anyway, a promise is a promise. So let's see what the next call has to say about tonight's topic. Don't be shy. You're on the grim reality. My name is Claire Spencer. I wasn't sure whether to call or not. It's painful to think back on that night. Really painful. 
The guy who just called before is a friend of mine, an old friend. We knew our parents were never gonna let us go to Belfast on our own, so we came up with the story of a school trip. We didn't have a penny or anywhere to stay, but, but the plan was to party all night long and then go straight back to London. It sounded like a fun thing to do when you're 16. What Andrew said is true. I flirted with Andrew. So what? And then... And then we went up to Andrew's room. And when I woke up, it was like being in a nightmare. I was face down with Andrew on top of me, stinking of vomit, really hurting me. And Jarvis was there. Jarvis Dolan was holding Lucy by the neck. Lucy was in such a bad state, she could hardly breathe. I've blamed myself so many times. I felt disgusted and ashamed. I literally lost my head. Claire. I, I understand that it must have been, it must have been really traumatic, but what has it got to do with me? You were there. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Andrew has already admitted what he did. You, you, you got what you wanted. Why, why have you got to drag me into this? He called you after <laughs> raping Lucy. Yes, yes, he called me, but he never mentioned anything about you and Lucy. I went up there and I got him out and I took him to our hotel, the merchant. In fact, why don't you call the Europa Hotel and they will tell you that we never even had That's a room a there. That's a lie! I woke up in that hotel room. I was devastated. I had to help Alex, but Lucy had disappeared. What room? We never had a room there. The only... The only what? The only people who had a room there were the technicians. You must have stayed at Anton. You're Hotel. so fucking miserable. What you did to us is unbelievable. If you were so traumatized and you went to the police, then why didn't they come to me? Where's the report? I did! Do you want to see the forensic report? Oh, I, I'd love you because what you're saying doesn't make any sense. Right. The word of a drunk girl against you guys. The police were looking at me like I deserved it. You just don't get it, do you? Maybe I'm a little fucked up, but at least I'm here to tell the story. What did you do to Lucy? I didn't do anything! What did you do to my, what did you do to my little girl, you little fucker? What did you do to her? Please, just tell me the fucking truth. I swear! Tell me the fucking truth! Please, 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 just tell me the truth. Tell me the fucking truth, please. So let's see what the next call has to say about tonight's topic. Don't be shy. Being broadcast You're on the grim reality. Okay, we have to make sure. My name is Claire Spencer. Okay. I wasn't sure whether to call or not. I think. Okay. It's painful to think back so, on that night. Really painful. Scene. If they cut off the podcast, none of this will have been worth it. The guy who just called before. Make sure she doesn't take those headphones off. An old friend. We knew Shh. our parents were never going to let us go to Belfast on our own, so we came up with a story.
see for yourself. So what more do you need? She made this all up. She's crazy. Claire. What? You've never been 17? I know guys like you. You just want girls to be at your service. To fear you. To keep their mouths shut. And that you two really fucked me over. But the worst was yet to come. Do you have any idea what it's like to live scared to death? Let me show you. No! Fuck! No, 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 don't touch her, no, no, You're no. gonna tell her that everything is gonna be okay, too? You're on air. I have no choice but to give Claire Spencer the answer that, that she deserves, to, to give her the facts. You see, Andrew called me because he'd realized that he had fucked up and, and he was scared. And when I got there, he told me that you had all been falling around that you had all taken numerous substances and that the girl that he had sex with, the girl that you took up to that room had overdosed. You're such a liar, Jarvis. You were there. Why don't you just admit it? Andrew was the, uh, was the walking cliche. He was the celebrity who thought he was bigger than everybody else. And with all, with all due respect, that was a cliche that you fell for, Claire. You fell for hook, line, and sinker. And as is the way with those kinds of nights with groupies and celebrities, he gets out of hand, and Andrew panicked. He fucked up, and then he called me. What did you do to her? I didn't do anything. I never laid a hand on them. I, I tried to help. You know, I took Lucy. I took her to the hospital. And I left her by the doors of the A and E. And when I left her there, she was fine. Fine, you fucking son of a bitch. Kill him. Kill him. He just admitted he was there. I left her where she could be found, where she could ask for help. No, she'd have come back to her mother and me. Please, please, tell him to let go. Please. Please tell him to let go of Julia, please. She's just a girl, please. Just a girl? Like us, you bastard? Kill him or I will! You don't know what it's like not to know what the fuck happened. The shit that runs through your mind, you don't know what it's like. What did you do to her? I'm telling you the truth. Kill her! Andrew. <gasps> no! Do it! No! Cliche. No! No! We're the fucking gun! Tell him to stop. Come on, We're not gonna kill a girl here because of this fucking bastard. Tell him to stop. Fail. Oh, 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 kill her! No! Do it! No, please! Curse, stop tell him to no, stop now! You can stop, stop! Tell him to fucking stop! stop.
And then I made a hand. What the fuck did you say? I tried to help. What did you say? I killed him with my own hands. Such a son of a bitch. See what I went in there. What did he just fucking say? I took it to the hospital. I left it by the doors of the AD. When I left it there, she was fine. Everybody was unconscious. And I got Andrew out and I went back in there to clean up. And I thought she was dead. And suddenly she woke up and then she saw me. I knew then that everything was over. And I knew she could destroy everything. What kind of a fucking monster are you? My little girl. Why? You see, when we've got nothing left to lose, we become monsters. Killing. He just admitted that he killed her. He's gonna get away with it just like he always does. Just kill him. What do you think's gonna happen to us? No. No? No one else is gonna die. Especially that Charles. He's confessed. We'll be on the air in like, what, three minutes? I'm calling the police. I just want to know where she is. Just tell me where she is. I said, shut the fuck up. Put the fucking gun down now. I just, look, look, please. Just tell me where the fuck she is. You drop the gun and I'll tell you. I promise you, I'll tell you if you drop the gun. Drop the fucking gun and I will tell you. Put it down. She's in the fucking river.
man now, please. You gotta stop him now. Stop him. He's your eyes okay <laughs> just close your eyes all right I know. Don't look. I, know. I know i know just close your eyes come on you gotta get home all right you gotta get home How, is, how the fuck could everything have gone so out of hand? What do you want me to say, Norman? Yeah, yeah, no, I know. I mean, Anthony, it's, uh, it's a real tragedy. 
Um, how's, uh, how's Julia? She's not good. Not so good. You cut to the chase. Grim reality. They want it to come back, but uh, but not just the radio. They, uh, they want TV as well. Syndication, everything. The sky's the limit as far as the money's concerned, and they've accepted all your proposals. Everything. The slots, the crew, the interviews. You may even get Trump. The other thing was, it was all over the tabloids. I mean, all these girls saying, you know, that Andrew was always up to no good. I mean, who, who would have thought that? Is there anything else I should know? Should I be worried? Oh, well, you got nothing to worry about. I guarantee you. Well, then, you must, uh, must be keen to get back to work. Yes. Julia, what a nice surprise.